Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day today. Today I got another feature request sent to me by one of my fellow VX9 clan mates, uh, Fala Bala. We just call him Fa. And uh, he's in his Chinese uh, WZ111. And uh, I think kind of funny looking. It's like it's got a face on him. A little devil on the front of that thing. Anyway, man, during a game, man, he just starts getting pummeled by these shots and bouncing these shots. And it, it cracked me up because it kind of reminded me of the... Like, of the the Jamaica Steel drums you hear playing in the background. And uh, it's a really good game, and I hope you enjoy it. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the channel. I hope you like it. Anyway, y'all, thank you so much. Let's get to the video. Thanks for watching. So this new air this new airship yard map is pretty cool and uh, i know um, a lot of people really like it and myself is i, I love it um it seems like for the last couple of games uh, most of the games i've been spawning on the north side his team spawned on the south and um he's going to head into the with this big this big gnarly gun he's got he's going to go set up and spot on, in a bush right there but he's eventually going to head into the um the buildings where, where the heavies typically go to duke it out most of his TDs and mediums or etc. lights are going to go down the center, um, but most of your mediums and your TDs are going to head over to the basically the, the right side of the map and contest that bridge area right around the E zero line area. Right, you know, um, if you've been playing the recon maps and this one and uh, and the canyon map have probably been my two favorite ones, and, um, and I'd be happy with. All of them. I'm not a big fan of the Anayata Kiva, whatever that one is. I don't like that one at all. I think that one's trash. But this one and the Canyon are really, really good. Um, he's going to sit up here and see if he can get a cheeky shot on anybody peeking up over the top of that ridge. That little that little area right there kind of reminds me of the of that the center ridge and glacier map. It's kind of it's kind of very it's very similar to that. Um, and I mean you know. We're, people are contesting poking peeking you know poking peeking <laughs> i'm just making this stuff up as i go folks <laughs> anyway uh he's looking to see if he can get a shot on somebody and uh he he's not he's looking he's looking and uh it's just not gonna happen and uh this map he's got the new of course it's not new to us anymore but during that game, you know, the new object, uh, 780, the one that they want to, um, you pretty much give up all your credits, all your bonds, <laughs> and maybe a kidney, and, you know, you know, you, you might be able to get this, this new tier 10 tank that, um, I hear it's got a pretty good gun on it, um, armor, I've, you know, I've heard some people say, you know, some of the armor's pretty lackluster, but, I mean, it's a premium tank, it's a premium 10, so, yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, I'd have to literally give up about 20, 24,000 bonds, about a pile of gold and a pile of credits just to get this this tank that I'm never going to play. But anyway, this this is not about that. This is about Fa and his, and his WZ 111, this big cracking gun. It's got kind of a face on the front of it, kind of like a chipmunk, kind of chucky looking thing. Um, but it's got a cracking good gun in this thing, man. If When it hits, man, it just... It's devastating. Um, he's going to pull up around here. You can see his, his, his heavies are set up on that little that little bridge area. And uh, where they can shoot down on the people. And uh, But unfortunately, this, well, fortunately, the Emil <laughs> wasn't looking. And he cracks that dude in the, in the front plate, lower plate for 651. It's beautiful. And then Mill is just going to immediately start going to work on on, on Faw. <laughs> there's there's 440. There's another. There's another. <laughs> I mean, Mill is just bouncing these shots. And and, and, and so is Faw. <laughs> and you're going to see here trade shots. And uh, and this is where it just started getting funny to me the first time I watched this game. And you can see his uh, one of his counterparts, the TNH is is pushing since uh, 
Fa has got this dude's attention, you know, and the mill is focused on him. That's a, you know, that was a good plan. Because the, the I man, the mill's a tough nut to crack. And hold down, unless you're shooting gold. I mean, yeah, that's that's tough. That's tough to do. But his team is. This is a cool part. His team pushes in strength. You know, all four tanks basically have pulled up. And that's that's a beautiful thing, you know. It's almost like they were all on team speak when they did that. You know, they all agreed, hey, we're gonna start pushing. And, and the enemy's TVP pulls back into cover. Um, unfortunately, he's not gonna get, get a get a shot on him. And uh, there's the object 780, kind of playing around in cover over down there gonna take a shot and miss typical typical you know not the most accurate gun but you know that's a tough shot even if you're not using the you know Faws are very very patient man he's he, he bounced out one looks like and he bounced a shot for 530 from the from the you know the object 780 just got like I said from what everybody's saying it's a pretty good gun on that tank bounce another shot for 530 he's just gonna wait wait see if he can get a shot on him and he bounced oh, not penetrated <laughs> well I don't know the armor looks pretty good to me you know just looking at it and uh Bounces another shot. That's his third bounce. Well, from the from the 780, you know, he bounced a pile of shots from the Emil. I think it was like a total of six shots, and then he just bounced three from from the 780. Um, yeah, when this thing, when this tank, man, this WZ's hold down, man, it's a beast. You're gonna have to get it from the sides or the top, you know. But when he's hold down, man, unless you load up gold, good luck. I'm not saying it's in, not in, you know you can't penetrate it, but it's just whew, it's a tough one. He takes a shot. Um, he might have killed him on that one, but he got you know his uh, he got credit for for the spotting assist on that. But uh, there's a pretty good chance he might have killed him on that one. So I don't know. It is what it is. So, um, Foss pushing, pushing up. He got the T-110 E3 and, boy, now that's a tough nut to crack. Um, tier 10 American uh, TD. And everybody knows what a pain in the rear these tanks can be. See what I mean? He, I mean, like he hit him in the lower plate, still, still didn't penetrate. He got smashed in the face, you know, by the... T-110 E3. Everybody knows that gun's no joke, man. Um, the fall, I don't care. He's just gonna take a shot like that for 714 on a T-110 E3. That's amazing. Working on a reload. It works on... It's like he got reloaded quicker than the T-110 E3 did. Set the T-110 E3 to the barn, which is a beautiful thing. And it's going to pull up on this tortoise, which is an equally tough nut to crack. Um, but, like I said, Faw don't care. He's just pushing, man. He's just pushing. Faw's a great player, in case you didn't know that. I mean, he, he's a very good tanker. He hits the tortoise on the side, which is beautiful. Can't You just can't beat a broadside on a tortoise, man. Don't ever pass up that opportunity. And all too often, you're staring straight down this barrel, and that's not a good place to be. But Faw's pushing up. And um, what a great map, man! The, the topography and they they've had lots of bushes now that you can you can snipe from behind. Um, it's a really well done map, and you know, and from my understanding, you know they're you know they're gonna pick a map and they're gonna like really 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 work on it and tweak it and, and make it look really really good. And um, as compared to the what it was, this is so much better. You know, it was just you know go down the train tracks and everybody fought out in the open more or less. With like what four or five 
couple dips in the topography in that big, I don't know, the ice canyon thing down the center. It was just a weird map. Um, but this, this iteration was pretty good. Um, I really dig it. I had a lot of fun playing it. And uh, Fall's team has uh, made pretty short work of the enemy team. That seems that's how, how it goes, you know. Um, and they're sitting here on the cap waiting for the last, the last uh, I guess that's the K91 PT Tier 9. Um, there you go. And that's the game, man. WZ111. Good game. Let's see what he did here. I see you got third class mastery badge, um, fire for effect, shell proof, two kills. You did 2,024 damage. You, your assist was uh, 438 um, for a combined 2462, but you you bounced 37, <laughs> 3,790, man. That's freaking awesome, dude. And you made a pile of credits, over 53,000 credits. Um, you, you didn't press the two key. <laughs> that was a really good game, bro. And, uh, I might have to, I, man, I might have to go down that line and try that tank out, man. It looks like a, looks like a good time. It kind of reminds me of the Borsig with the boomstick, but on a bigger scale. Um, maybe like the grill, a, eh, you know, but, uh, looks like a good tank, man. Still got a funny looking face on the front of it. Well, anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if it wasn't complete garbage due to me, um, please consider leaving, uh, giving me a thumbs up and leaving a follow a comment for a great game. And uh, if it's your first time here, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you like what you see, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out. And uh, that's it. Thank you all so much. And we'll catch you on the next one. Y'all take care and have a great day. Bye.